Andrew and I settled here in the Swatland in 2007. At the time, it was a relatively unknown region, but we knew there was the potential to make incredible wines here. We fell in love with the grapes, the wines, the people. It was an absolutely blank slate. We were able to write our own story within the context of the Swartland. Some of the, the oldest vineyards in South Africa are here in the Swartland. So we really believe that Syrah and Chenin Blanc are the two best grapes in the Swartland. They've really adapted to the climate, to the soil types, and they're so expressive of the terroir. The strongest factor in terroir in the Swartland is the soil. And the four main soil types we have in the Swatland are decomposed granite, which is found in the Paderberg mountain. These are very ancient, very weathered soils, over 400 million years old. And over those millions of years, the, the granite has eroded and decomposed into very weathered sand. So these are super deep soils. So they always have a really good acidity and they build a bit more sort of floral, spicy aromatics in the reds and more citrus, flinty characteristics in the whites. Then the next main soil type is schist, which is found on Castilberg Mountain. Schist is a much harder, much more rocky soil. There's only about half a meter of soil, and then it's the, the hard bedrock of slate or schist. So you can imagine here, the vines are smaller, they have a much tougher life, they, they, they really have to dig deep and, and dig hard to, to build their root system. So because of that, the bunches are smaller, the berries are smaller, and they've got much thicker skins on the grapes which builds more tannin, structure, and backbone in the wine. And then around Malmesbury, on the Malmesbury Hills, we have what we call the coffee clip soils, or the iron-rich soils. These are red soils that are very, very weathered and are, are very high in clay. And what clay soils do anywhere around the world is they bring mid-palate to the wine. You can think of sort of a, a very textural, soft, velvety character in the red wines. And then the fourth soil type are our quartz soil types. These are also found on Castilberg on the lower slopes. And quartz is a very hard white rock. The quartz soils trap more sunshine and reflect it back up into the canopy. In vineyards grown on quartz soils, you're going to taste more spice and more sunshine in the grapes and in the wine. The single terroir vineyards, although they ripen at different times, we bring them in at the same ripeness level. And then in the winery, we handle them in the same way to truly let the individual vineyard expressions shine through because it's the way that the vine grows on the soil that brings the character of each single terroir vineyard into the wine. So for Melanie, we have three different ranges, starting with the Kloof Street, which is our introduction to the Swartland. We also make the Mullineau Signature Wines, which are the first three wines that we wanted to make when we first came to the Swartland. That consists of a Swartland Syrah, which is a 100% Syrah, but a blend of different soil types. We also make a Swartland White Blend, predominantly Old Vine Chenin Blanc, and blended with other varieties that have worked very well on our properties. The third signature wine is a straw wine made from old vine Chenin Blanc. And straw wine is a type of sweet wine where the vines are cut off the vine at normal ripeness. And then they're laid in the shade for several weeks while they're concentrating in sugar, they're concentrating in flavor. But the most important thing is they're concentrating in acidity. It's a long, slow fermentation. And like anything that takes a long time, it's just developing in layers of complexity, of texture, of flavors. Our rarest and most exclusive wine are our single terroir wines. We focus on the four main soil types of the Swartland, granite, schist, quartz, and iron. In both our red and white wines, we aim to have purity, texture, balance, and a sense of place in all of them. And those are really, I think, what, what's important to taste in any Swatland wine is on white wines, that amazing texture balanced by freshness, and on the reds, this beautifully accessible but firm tannin. Roundstone is the home of our Malanu winery planted with 20 hectares of vines and it's really farmed to the utmost level of quality that we can. We use a lot of diverse cover crops in the vineyards, we farm with mulches, we make our own composts here on the property and all of these are steps to make sure that the soil is as live as possible, that the vines themselves grow in a, in a slow, steady, balanced way and then the vineyard gives back to us in return. The ideal situation for any grape grower or winemaker is that you get true expression of that vineyard on that site in the bottle of wine that you're drinking.